Alright, so we are talking about the future of basketball here on Play It Right. And of course, we have with us so happy a man who has been playing in professional basketball in Japan for the Sun and Neo Phoenix team, 30 Ravenna. Hi, 30. Thanks for being Hello, here. Thanks for inviting me. So congratulations. Of course, we all know the news that you re-signed with your team for, is it another season or uh, multiple seasons? Uh, multiple seasons for Mr. Dan. Oh, multiple. So, ibig sabihin, you're, you're going to be there for a while. Yes, po. It's going to be my home for the next couple of years. <laughs> mm. Well, I guess that means masaya ka dyan, diba, sa team mo. Yeah. Can you give us, like, ano yung mga naging factors that made you decide to renew, not just for one season, but actually for a couple of years of your life? Uh, well, the fact that uh, you know they've shown love, they've shown so much love and support um, ever since uh, they got me. Even before I got to Japan, I already felt like I was part of the team. Uh, when mm -hmm. I got to Japan, it was the president himself that picked me up. It right, I remember. So he yeah. drove like four hours to go to the airport and then four hours back. Uh, he actually waited for me for a couple more hours uh, till I landed. Wow. So I mean, those things, and even with the fact that I got injured, I got COVID, mm -hmm. and I wasn't able to help the team as much as I wanted to, uh, they were still there, and they showed, like, you know, uh, unwavering love uh, and support, just like what I mentioned. And it just made the decision so much easier, you know, um, the fact that they gave me another chance. Uh, well, multiple yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, actually, to be able to help the team uh for me it was uh, an easy decision to to be here and yeah it's a great country you still get to go around no matter where you are because everything's so accessible so mm. uh it was a th uh, those are the things that made me you know uh, make the decision to stay with the team yeah na isip ko nga with everything that happened to you di ba uh, yeah. Well, like a COVID ka nga. It took, first of all, it took you so long to get there. You got COVID. First, you had to quarantine, of course, the first time. Was it 14 when you initially arrived? arrived or yeah, or 7? 14, 14 days. Yeah, ago. 14. And then COVID, another 14. Broke your finger. Injured your, you know, injured your your knee. So I was actually wondering, ano kaya, what, how, how are they going to see 30 now, <laughs> yung team management? Pero... I guess they really love you, no? <laughs> diba? So, tuloy -tuloy yung, ano, you, you really felt all the support throughout all your challenges in your first professional year. Yes, yes, Ms. Dan. And talagang naswertehan din lang po na, um, I guess they saw something in me that, you know, they trusted me and they really believed in what I could do. So, uh, very grateful. Yeah. So I guess, you know, the other day I heard you were in the gym until 10 p.m. So that means that your fire is like all the more there para to do better when you come back for next season since you've committed for the next couple of years. Yes, definitely. All the motivation is there to stay healthy and be as uh, prepared as uh, I can be. So, you know, uh, I get to be, I get to help the team uh, the most in the best way that I can and play the most games that I can uh, for the next season to be able to really show love and show how much I care and value the trust that the team has given me. So Yeah. How is, what have you learned there? I mean, with the Japanese B-League basketball, let's say compared to, it's your first year as a pro compared to, of course, let's say if you were playing professional here. I mean, how would you describe the, the Japanese B-League? Well, um, I wouldn't be able to compare uh, because I, I, I wasn't able to play in the PBA. 
but uh, I think compared to Philippine basketball, it's really, you know, it has such a toll on your body just because of the fact that uh, the eliminations have like 60 games uh, ah. in a span of 60, no? 60 yes, and dami pa lang games. From October to May, uh, you have yeah. 60 games. So sometimes there's going to be three games a week. Well, most of the time it's three games a week. Sometimes there's five games in eight days and they're all away. So you have to travel within those um, eight days and get to practice for like a uh, one hour in between uh, max. And yeah, I mean, just the challenge that it has on you physically, I think it, uh, that's the biggest difference uh, from the Philippine basketball setting and how it's done. Yeah. Um, but so again, you're pushed, no? You're super pushed physically and even uh, mentally because you're having to adjust to, to different like places, venues and all that, a lot of moving, no? Definitely. Uh, I found the... Uh, there's a newfound respect for NBA players uh, after this first mm-hmm. season, just because, you know, I've seen, I've kind of, you know, it's 80, they have 82 games, we have 60 games. And mm-hmm. I've seen what it's like to, what kind of, uh, to be able to be in that kind of environment and to realize how much preparation uh, it takes. And it's really a special kind of, you know, uh, discipline, no? a special kind of discipline to be able yeah. to play all throughout those games and be healthy and you know you take care of your nutrition your recovery um, yeah all the little things you really pay attention to those th- uh, to those so uh talagang you have to be very well rounded as an athlete as a basketball player because this is 24 7 like it's not just about playing in the court anymore but it's about how you do the little things like stretching, yeah. uh, icing. How you, you manage practice. yourself, no? Yes, uh, all of those things come into play, um, especially at the latter part of the season. So um, I think that's the biggest difference. Yeah. But do you have to do all that yourself? Or is there someone in the team who, who is there to help you or to, let's like, say, okay, recovery time or icing, therapy, uh, what you eat, ganon? Uh, or, well, in nutrition, we don't have, and uh, the icing, it's really on you. Like, we have uh, an ice, machi- um, ice machine um, in the gym. Uh, if you want to ice yourself, we have uh, a PT and a trainer if you want to work out, if you want to um, get the massage. But it's, you know, pretty much entirely up to you, when it, especially yeah. in the season, uh, if you want to do those things or you want to rest. And we have an oxygen uh, chamber uh, mm. gym as well. So, recovery, nice. Yeah, no, you have to be disciplined. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I learned that from the very start of the season because um, it's it's really hard. I mean, I thought I was in good shape when I went to Japan when the and when the game started and it became like three games in one week and i was like wow i can't even rest and there's practice in between oh talaga time. so you yeah. felt like you needed to get in better shape because i thought you were already in like super fit now i thought i thought i was too so uh, it was a challenge but you know uh, it's part of the process now that i've seen uh, what it takes and I, I know what it takes to be able to prepare at this level uh, I'll be more prepared, definitely, uh, the next coming season. Nice. So would you say that you were, uh, you're physically stronger? I mean, minus the the, injure, the injuries that you have, like overall? Uh, right now, no. Uh, I'm still in the process of rehabbing my knees and being, uh, and making sure that I'm 100% by the time I leave Japan. So I think I'm uh, mm. trying to get, uh, trying to bulletproof my body basically for what's to come in the off season because I know that uh, the off season is going to be the hardest uh, part. Uh, well, it's the most enjoyable part for me as well because I get to stay in the gym and not worry about playing games or not worry or not worry about who we're gonna play. Um, it's all about just grinding, you know, just working uh, on yourself and being better every single day, and that's what you focus on. Yeah. So. Um, right now, I'm just making sure that my body's going to be physically ready to handle the toll of all of the hours that I'm going to put in. So I think that's the most important part. Yeah. Speaking of timetable off-season, uh, your 
coming back to the Philippines? Babalik ka mo na dito? Ano yung schedule mo between now and October? Uh, from, I think I'm going to leave around the end of May. Um, go back, uh, quarantine for 10 days at the hotel. Tapos, uh, see my family. And I'm not so sure yet. Um, excuse me, there's a window. There's a national team window in June. And there's another window in August. So I'm pretty sure I'm not, uh, I'm not going to join the June window. But I'm not so sure if they would invite me to the August window. Ah, so, uh, uh, it's still up to, mm. you know, I'm, I have no clue. Uh, I honestly have no clue right now when I'm going to be back in Japan, um, supposedly by the end of June. But um, if the national team is there, uh, plans might change. Uh, but right now, all I'm worried about, I mean, all that matters to me is being in the company of my loved ones and seeing my family, my friends, and just being in the house. Yeah, how long has it been? How long has it been? One year na ba? No, uh, I think I left October 15th. Uh, for oh, yeah, yeah. A couple, um, couple of months. And then, but it's, you know, uh, I've never stayed away. Mm-hmm. I've never left. My, <laughs> that's, my that's, what, that's what you home. were telling me before you left, no? Parang. You haven't been away this long from your family, but you survived and you got COVID and you got yeah, injured. I, wow. I, looking back, I honestly don't know how oh, know, I was able to I, manage all of those uh, uh, experiences, all those challenges by myself. Well, yeah. physically, uh, I do know that um, my family and my friends are there with me spiritually and even online, I can just call them and they're still going to be, you know, they're still going to be around, but yeah, iba pa rin po yung uh, mag-isa ka tapos uh, Oh, mag- ang damang pinagdadaanan. Yeah, but uh, So how often did you uh, call them madala. during all those times? Madalas kang tumawag sa kanila. Yeah, Who were you talking to the most? My mom. Your dad? My or your mom. mom? Yeah, my mom. I mean, I call her pretty much every day. So Oh, weird. that's sweet. Just talk about random stuff, but gotta be my mom that's good yeah well that's also good to hear that uh you're open to playing for the gilas team no so i think august right i think they have a there's a window in august no if ever in serbia yeah yeah Um, if they call me they call me and i'll be happy of course um but yeah yeah, uh, who i mean that's okay honor in playing the sport you know if you get to represent your country yeah Oh, that's something to look forward to. That's exciting. Well, I, I wanted to ask you about the league there. How, how do they? How are? How is the league played during this COVID situation? Is it very difficult? Is it normal? Mask or health protocols? Madali, was it easy? Is it pretty normal there? It kind of changed uh, a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I mean, from the start of the season, it was allowed uh, up to fifty percent capacity of the arena. But um, throughout the season, there were certain rules or certain events wherein games would be canceled and then there would be games na walang crowd. Um, but mm. there would also be games na we all have to wear masks the whole time. Uh, mm. when we're playing and then natanggal ulit and then... Yeah, I mean, it was... Uh, so, iba-iba. Nag-change. Lagi nag-change. Yeah. It wasn't uh, a drastic change. Uh, it yeah. was kind of like uh, adding, you know, uh, precautions, adding measures, uh, just like wearing masks in the dugout now. Um, towards mm-hmm. the last part of the season, we had to wear it even in the dugouts. So, yeah, I mean, those things. But uh, the, the league never canceled. I mean, we had a total of one game that was canceled. Uh, Galing. Yeah. 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 Has anyone been vaccinated? Are the players vaccinated in the who are playing in the in the league or in the? Uh, actually, no one. Uh, the vaccines are only gonna roll out on June tenth in Japan, so no one has the vaccine here yet, except the frontliners and the elderly people. Mm. So, is that gonna be a requirement for the players, or you don't know? I am not so sure. Uh, I think I'm. I'm most likely gonna be taking my vaccine in the Philippines. So. 
Yeah. Okay. So, Sturdy, you had a lot of time there, unfortunately, off the basketball court, diba? So, how would you spend your time? Were you mostly trying to recover? Did you... I mean, what did you do? Um, well, I mean, with my situation, uh, you can only do so much as for recovery. Uh, sometimes you only need about an hour and 30 minutes a day, especially when I fractured my hand because I can't do a lot of things. Uh, and it was my main hand that was injured. So uh, after that, I would just talk to my friends or eat with my teammates and read a book or watch a movie uh, just to kill time mm. because one of the biggest uh, problem, not really a problem, but one of the things that you realize when you play overseas is that, uh, well, I think it's the, uh, it depends on the team as well, is that there's a lot of downtime to it, um, especially mm. during the season because during the season you practice once a day and it's about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes a day. And after that, uh, uh, especially if it's in the morning, like let's say we practice at nine, we're done by 10 30. Uh, I work out an, uh, an extra hour, hour and a half. I'm finished by 12 and I'm basically done <laughs> for the rest of the day. So, you know, uh, mm. you just kind of find ways and how you could, uh, well, kill time, but also, you know, try to be productive as well. Uh, I tried to read books, but it was, <laughs> I, I yeah. Didn't, uh, that much so <laughs> did you ever have a issue with your mental well-being did you ever feel down and what do you I mean what did you do to be able to help you mentally especially with all the things that you went through just try to keep yourself busy talk to people what yeah, really helped you the that's most? a really really good question uh that you brought it up Miss Diane because uh I never I wasn't as big uh, about uh, mental health. I mean, I see it everywhere, but I always thought that I was a uh, strong. Yes, uh, exempted. I would be able to handle all of the pressure because I, mm -hmm. I figured that I, you know, grew up under pressure, basically uh, with the pressure of my dad being a pro player and my brother being a phenom ever since he was young. So mm -hmm. I was kind of introduced to that kind of pressure. Uh, from when I was young, uh, but when I, you know, experienced all of those things, uh, being injured, uh, being, having COVID, and, being, yeah. and experiencing all of those things alone, um, in a yeah. place where, you know, you don't know anyone outside of your team, uh, yeah. it's, it's really hard. I mean, I really felt the value of mental health uh, when I got to Japan and experienced all of those things. So now I really, um, I open up to my friends about everything. I always thought na, na ko kaya kaya ko to. I don't need, uh, no one needs to know what I'm going through and they know oh. that I'm enough to do this. But ngayon parang, uh, I'm very open, especially with my friends, yung mga hardships ko. Sometimes I kind of, I almost break down and I'm, <laughs> I just call my friends. I'm like, oh, so na. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. Well, that's good that you were, that hindi ka, you know, nahiya, you know, to do it. Because yeah. especially you, you consider yourself a strong person. I, yeah. yeah, that's good. So ano naman mga, it helped you to open up. Yeah, and it actually, which is a funny thing because also my teammates felt, had the same sentiment about it. Um, especially going through a season, you know, um, we would play seven, eight guys sometimes, uh, the whole mm -hmm. game, and it would be we would lose like seven or eight times straight, yeah. And then yeah. it would just be, you know, crazy, especially for you know, someone like me who hasn't lost, used to winning, <laughs> I haven't lost in two years before I went to Japan, and then wow, season, we lost 47 times. So, you know, um, the effect on it, uh, it could have an effect on you. Um, but, yeah. You know, uh, being able to have a group of people who you could feel, uh, who you have, you know, the same experience, uh, experiences with, the same struggles with, uh, really helps, mm. uh, especially if you get to talk to each other about it and be very open about it. Uh, you kind of feel lighter. And that's... Uh, yeah. We kind of named our group Mental Health Matters, which is crazy because we're like four players. Are you serious? Yeah. Mental Health Matters? 
Yeah, we, it's yeah. That's what we call their group, and we would just uh, talk about everything that we're going through and kind of, you know, laugh it off with each other. And it's like, yo, this is so hard, but let's just go through it. And then that itatawan na lang namin. And you kind of feel lighter, you know, when you get to discuss all of those things with. So, parang you were just sharing with them. Now, lahat kayo going through the same thing. Parang sharing lang. Wala naman yeah. like naging counselor or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, wala, wala. We were just sharing with each other. It wasn't like a a formal. Um, discussion like a focus group. Uh, we were just, yeah. just talking to each other about. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you acknowledged it and you were able to find a way to deal with it. So yeah, I, I would you know, madalas kita ng isipin kasi saying, oh my gosh, lahat ng pinagdadaanan ni Thirdy and then ang daming talo yung team hindi pa nakakapaglaro. I was Yeah. Sometimes I would wonder kung kumusta ka na and I know you to be a strong person but yes you're right it uh no one is exempt from from feeling the effects of challenges but yeah. I believe you're going to come out of it stronger you you are you're coming out of it stronger diba yeah. uh, hopefully and I also like to believe that I am growing um in the process of all of the of going through all of the challenges yeah 30 you you tell us about the you wrote a letter to the PBA about the the Dodger rule can you can you tell us about it and what did you get any response uh well i'm not so sure if i can disclose the letter but i think it's up to the PBA if they want to you know reveal it because i'm just uh kumbaga nagpasentable lang rin ako na i'm going to go to japan And I'm gonna play mm-hmm. here for uh, the next couple of years, and I just hope that they're uh, they're there to continue their support uh, for me in representing the uh, not just myself but the country and making the Philippine basketball community proud. So it's it's just a short letter. It's not it's nothing um, elaborate. It's basically yeah, just things. like paalam ka lang. Then to hopefully keep the door open for you. Yeah, and you know, uh, I'm just doing this to represent the country as well. So I'm just hoping yeah. for that support. I respect the league. Uh, you know, my brother's there, my dad's there, and I also, you know, I've been, I grew up watching the PBA as well. So uh, just need yeah. to pay my respects. Yeah, thirty. Anong payo mo sa mga ibang Pinoy basketball players who who may want to follow in your footsteps to you know to play in the Japan Professional League? What advice would you give them? Just chase your dream, whatever you feel uh, inside you, whether you want to play in the Philippines or somewhere else, just trust your gut and, you know, bet on yourself. That's the best bet you can ever <laughs> uh, give. So, um, yeah, I always like to tell myself, uh, if, I, if I'm betting on myself, then I'll definitely double down. Like, I wouldn't uh, doubt uh What I can do, I, I know that I'm going to work. Uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes and I'm going to work my hardest. Kaya kahit na uh, hindi man ako mag-succeed, I can tell myself at the end of the day that I did my part and I did, uh, and I regret nothing. And I just, yeah. so I mean, that's, I think that's the most important thing at the end of the day. You could be uh, somewhere where you're very successful, but in your mind, you know, you're, Uh, you actually had the dream to play somewhere else, but um, it might happen. But you don't want to regret anything at the end of the day. So, uh, you know, for not, sure, trust, better trust to have trust. tried, better to have tried and failed. I'm not saying you're gonna fail. Better to have tried and failed than to not have tried at all. Yeah, well, respect you for that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thirty, you recent you reached out to our Olympic bound boxer Yumi Marshall to help him. With his preparation, ano yung in offer mong supporta para sa kanya? Uh, well, uh, first of all, I didn't uh, really want to uh, make it a big deal. Like for myself, nagulat niya ako na he posted because uh, I just reached out to him to be able to, you know, find a way to support as a fellow athlete, uh, kahit maliit lang. Mm-hmm. And he said like he doesn't really need monetary stuff but just the supplements all of those things and i was mm-hmm. like you yeah, sure i can provide those i can get you uh what you need if you're in the city in manila so yeah we just talked about it like that and you know as a 
fellow athlete, you just want to make sure na uh, makatulong ka um, to those who may need your help. Because you know, you I've been blessed, uh, even though I've been going through a lot of things, and I feel like kailangan mapasa mo yung uh, blessings mo sa iba, because those are the most important things. And what you that can is do so nice. Is so, so nice. Uh, I'm sure I, he appreciates it. Yeah. So supplements. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna give him some supplements. Yeah, supplements, uh, primarily like protein and this the the vitamins that he takes. Uh, we yeah, he sent me like pictures. So just those Aww. things. Very simple. <laughs> Not really uh, oh, what sweet. people might think. Nah, <laughs> uh, it's like a grand uh something, but it's not. So just no, malaking simple. tulong yon. Supplements yeah. kailangan ng mga athletes yon. <laughs> Okay, 30, before I let you go, uh, what would you like to tell your fans, all the people who follow you? I know you're always, you know, posting about how overwhelmed you are with all the support that you're getting, not just from here, by the way, you're also a star na in Japan. You have so many interviews uh-huh. there, right? No, no, no. Um, sikat ka na, super sikat ka na dyan, right? No, no. Speak, <laughs> no, speak Japanese na? I am going to start my lessons very soon. <laughs> you have to. You're going to yeah, be there. I, yeah, I figured. I, I thought I was going to be here for a year. So I was like, it might be, you know, uh, harder for me to study Japan, uh, Nihongo and then just leave uh, not finishing it. So ngayon, I really have to finish and study hard because I'm going to be here for a long time. So oh, yeah. Sige, message na lang sa fans mo for the Philippines and then. Well, if you want to attempt to say something in Japanese, but... Oh, no, I wouldn't even uh, <laughs> okay. do that to myself. <laughs> I'm going to okay. say more confident. But uh, to all of the supporters, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng pagmamahal. Uh, supporta na binigay niyo, not just for me, pero sa team din, sa Sana New Phoenix. And uh, sana pagpatuloy niyo lang po yung supporta niyo and I'll keep working hard para ma- mapakita ko sa Japan at sa buong mundo ko ano kakayaan ng mga Pil- Pilipino and yun uh, I'm just here uh, and I appreciate every single one of you guys uh, especially the ones na nag-message pa uh, maraming salamat uh, from the bottom of my heart and I hope everyone stays safe and thanks for having me, Miss Dan, and everyone here. It's a great Thank you, Thirdy. Thank you. Super yeah. thank you. And we're so proud of your fight. We love your determination and uh, we believe that you, whatever you do, you're always going to play it right. So thanks for being here. See you again next time. I always love talking to you. See you, Miss Dan. Ingat. <laughs>